now let us move on to the second bit in the second bit the given two numbers are 38,220 and 196 clearly 38,220 is greater than 196 so we apply Euclid's division lemma for 38,220 and 196 so first we shall divide 38,220 with 196 so 196 times 1 is 196 and the remainder is 186 so we bring down to 196 goes in 1862 9 times so 196 times 9 is 1764 and the remainder is 98 so we bring down 0 196 goes in 980 exactly 5 times so 196 times 5 is 980 and the remainder is 0. Therefore, 38,220 can be written as 196 times 195 plus 0. Here, the remainder is, is equal to 0. Therefore, the divisor 196 is the HCF. That is, HCF of 38,220 and 196 is equal to 196. Now let us move on to the third question. An army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? So now let us move on to the solution. Given is number of members in army contingent is equal to 616. And number of members in army band is equal to 32. And the given condition is two groups are to match. in same number of columns therefore the maximum number of columns that satisfy the given condition can be obtained by finding the highest common factor that is the HCF of 616 and 32 Clearly, 616 is greater than 32. So, let us divide 616 with 32. So, here 616 is the dividend and 32 is the divisor. 32 times 1 is 32 and we are left with the remainder 29. When we bring down 6, we have 296. 32 times 9 is 288, the remainder left is 8. Therefore, from Euclid's division lemma, 616 can be written as 32 times 19 plus 8. Since the remainder 8 is not equal to 0, we again apply Euclid's division lemma for 32 and 8. So now let us divide 32 with 8. 8 goes in 32 exactly 4 times. Therefore 8 times 4 is 32 and the remainder is 0. Therefore 32 can be written as 8 times 4 plus 0. 
since the remainder obtained is zero hcf of 616 and 32 is equal to 8 therefore the maximum number of columns in which both the groups can match is 8 Now let us move on to the fourth question. The question is use Euclid's division lemma to show that the square of any positive integer is either of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m and the hint given is let x be any positive integer then it is of the form 3q, 3q plus 1 or 3q plus 2. Now square each of these and show that they can be written in the form 3m or 3m plus 1. So now let us move on to the solution. We need to prove that the square of any positive integer is of the form 3m or 3m plus 1 for some integer m. So let a be any positive integer and b is equal to 3. So from Euclid's division algorithm If a and b are any two positive integers, there exists q and r such that a is equal to bq plus r where 0 is less than or equal to r is less than b. Since here the value of b is 3, we have a is equal to 3q plus r where 0 is less than or equal to r is less than 3. This implies r takes values 0, 1 and 2. Therefore, let us first take r is equal to 0. This implies a is equal to 3q plus 0 which is equal to 3q. Now, let us square on both sides. Therefore a square is equal to 3q whole square which is 9q square. 9q square can be written as 3 times of 3q square. So this is of the form 3m where m is equal to 3q square. Now let us take r is equal to 1 therefore a is equal to 3q plus 1. Now let us square on both sides. We have a square is equal to 3q plus 1 whole square. This implies a square is equal to 3q plus 1 whole square is of the form a plus b whole square and it can be expanded as a square that is 3q whole square plus 2ab that is 2 times 3q times 1 plus b square is 1 square. This gives 9q square plus 6q plus 1. 9q square can be written as 3 times 3q square plus 6q can be written as 3 times 2q plus 1. From this 3 is a common factor so we bring it out and we are remaining with 3 times 3q square plus 2q plus 1. So this is of the form 
थ्री एम प्लस वन वेर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू स्क्वेर प्लस टू क्यू नाउ लेट एस टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ आर दैट इज टू सो वी हैव ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री क्यू प्लस टू स्क्वेरिंग ऑन बोथ साइड्स we have a square is equal to 3 cube plus 2 whole square which implies a square is equal to 9 cube square plus 2 times 3 cube times 2 plus 2 square which is 9 cube square plus 12 cube plus 4 Nine cube square can be written as three times of three cube square, and twelve cube can be written as three times of four cube. Four can be written as three plus one. So from the first three terms, we have three as a common factor. So we bring it out, and we are left over with three times of three cube square plus four cube plus one plus one. Now this is of the form three m plus one. Where m is equal to three q square plus four q plus one. Therefore, the square of any positive integer is of the form. Three m or three m plus one. Hence, proved. Now let us move on to the fifth question. The question is: Use Euclid's division lemma to show that the cube of any positive integer is of the form nine m or nine m plus one or nine m plus eight. So let's move on to the solution. Here we need to prove that the cube of any positive integer is of the form nine m nine m plus one or nine m plus eight. Let a be any positive integer and B is equal to three. Using Euclid's division lemma, we have if a and b are any two positive integers, there exists q and r such that a is equal to b q plus r, where zero is less than or equal to r is less than b. Since b is equal to three, we have a is equal to three q plus r, and Zero is less than or equal to r is less than three. This implies r can take value zero, one, and two. Therefore, any positive integer a is of the form three q, three q plus one, three q plus two. Now consider the first case where r is equal to zero. This implies a is equal to three q. So q being on both sides, we have a cube is equal to three q whole q, which is twenty seven q cube. Twenty seven q cube can be written as nine times of three q cube. This is of the form. Nine m, where m is equal to three q q. Now let us take case two, where r is equal to one. This implies a is equal to three q plus one. So q being on both sides, we have 
a cube is equal to 3 cube plus 1 whole cube which implies a cube is equal to 3 cube plus 1 whole cube is of the form a plus b whole cube and it can be expanded as a cube which is 3 cube whole cube plus 3a square b that is 3 times of 3 cube whole square times 1 plus 3ab square that is 3 times 3 cube times 1 square plus b cube that is 1 cube which implies a cube is equal to 27q cube plus 27q square plus 9q plus 1 which implies a cube is equal to 27q cube can be written as 9 times of 3q cube plus 27q square can be written as 9 times 3q square and 9q can be written as 9 times q plus 1. Here in the first three terms we have 9 as a common factor so we bring it out so we are left with 9 times of 3q cube plus 3q square plus q plus 1. So this is of the form 9m plus 1 where m is equal to 3q cube plus 3q square plus q. Now let us take case 3 where r is equal to 2. We have a is equal to 3q plus 2. So cubing on both sides. We have a cube is equal to 3 cube plus 2 whole cube which implies a cube is equal to the expansion for 3 cube plus 2 whole cube is 3 cube whole cube plus 3 times of 3 cube whole square times 2 plus 3 times 3 cube times 2 square plus 2 cube which implies a cube is equal to 27 cube cube plus 54q square plus 36q plus 8 which implies a cube is equal to 27q cube can be written as 9 times of 3q cube plus 54q square can be written as 9 times of 6q square plus 36q can be written as 9 times of 4q plus 8 which implies a cube is equal to since 9 is a common factor in the first three terms we bring out 9 and we are left over with 9 times of 3q cube plus 6q square plus 4q plus 8 this is of the form 9m plus 8 where m is equal to 3q cube plus 6q square plus 4q. Therefore, cube of any positive integer is of the form 9m or 9m plus 1 or 9m plus 8 hence proved